Well, it's been a while, but uh, I think it's time to uh, do a little work on the SM here. Uh, what's uh, today's job is uh, I would like the car to start on the key. Uh, apparently, a very common fail in these cars is that the ignition switches uh, crap out. So we're gonna try and figure that out and. This is what I've been doing is just running a hot wire to that guy and that, that's been starting the car, but it's hard to run the choke and the throttle and hot wire it all at the same time. So we're, uh, we're going to have a look here. What's up boss? My neighbor came over. Some of you might know Pete. Uh, hi. Stopped in. He was in the neighborhood, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got here boss? Alright, so we got the ignition switch. And they've got this beautiful mechanical arrangement, which we had a lot of trouble getting this out. Yeah, it all looks like a really logical thing to actually try and uh, see that it doesn't flush out there. Yeah, so it's about 30 thousandths too low. Yeah, and it just so wouldn't come out. Did you have a look inside the car? Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, instead of just turning the key to the correct position and pulling the tumbler out as it's supposed to be, you have to actually take half the car apart. You can see there, just to get that open. So we got a grub screw, which we thought, yep, we'll take that. Yeah, so you did that, and that's fine. Removed it, and it wouldn't go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so the there, that little thing that sticks out, it's still, even when you retract it fully, it was getting caught here. So all we could do was dismantle all this so that we could push down on it from inside the column. So now we've got the bearings all come out of it and this all has to be reassembled and indexed because we don't want the steering to sit all cockeyed. So that is our goal for this afternoon. Um, right? Yep. Wish yep. you'd stayed home yet? <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> the bearings are all loose like Oh, I know, like it's like an old bicycle in you here. You catch them as you pull the column back. Yeah, what a <laughs> shit show. And we got to get it all back together somehow. Yeah. So I think first thing is we're going to repair the switch and test it or see if we've repaired it. And then we're going to reassemble all of this stuff. And then we're going to see if we can fire the car. So I think that would be a fun adventure. And the car hasn't run for a couple of years, so I don't want to leave it sitting until it's all dried up and full of gummed up old gas because the gas, as we know now, is shit. Before we can do the fun stuff like paint it, we have to do this stuff here. I have uh, lots of extra parts, so we were able to use some of these parts to determine actually how we were going to take it apart. Have we got a look in there? Yeah. Yeah, let's so, see if we can do a quick... Hang on, which, show the broken one first. And then yeah, so we've got... Yeah, we're talking we out here. Look at the hole it has it's dug in there. Holes. And, and the corresponding bit. It's actually... Yeah, see it's down. melted the plastic in there as it contacts and yeah. it's actually made itself a little bit of insulation. And yeah. of course the car won't start anymore. Probably one of the reasons it was parked. If we had to pick one of 10 or 20. So there's your repair. So I did a little bit of a plastic, hard plastic two-part uh, urethane yeah, repair. Filled the little cavities in and then right, polished right and, it, and I rotated that little contact so that the clean edge would be contacting the repaired surface. And part three of this repair is to put a uh, relay in mm. so that this doesn't happen anymore. Can't believe. We were talking about how crazy this is that this is a really high quality thing it, well, in so many ways but without a relay it, it doesn't matter how nice the piece is i mean this switch it weighs about two pounds mm. so there's a lot of nice stuff there and yet it see it doesn't flush when you turn mm. so uh, just a really frustrating combination of really nice engineering right beside really shit engineering so and, and when uh, are you going to take these down a bit yeah, I think I will, just because I'd like to be able to get it out without so having to do this again. we can again. dummy fit that on the other... Yeah, oh, that's right, we'll dummy it yeah. up with our extra one. That's yeah. a great idea, because yeah. then if we, we fuck up, then yeah. we can uh, we can still it. test it, yeah. Okay, right. so mm, let's get some grease in there, and then we're going to reassemble and test it with the uh, continuity tester, and mm -hmm. 
this only go together one way we can't really put it together wrong yeah well i mean you just rotate it so that the bayonet fitting right but we've got a, the trick with this yeah, but you could put it in 180 out couldn't you or not no well, because yeah, the spring only goes one way right the spring goes one way okay and this bastard flies out yeah and then we got so a little weed. There we go. So you can't, you really can't put it. You can't put it wrong then. We Same can't, thing. we can't go 180 out, basically. Well, right? got to, I want to just dry fit it first because I want to know what I'm doing because I've forgotten. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. So that goes. Matter of fact, if you want to dry fit it, we can do a continuity test before we even go any further. So there you are, there. Okay. And then that pushes in those pins are spring loaded. Right here. Yeah. Right there on the. And then that lines oh. up. Here. Yeah. These are uh, they yeah. have the little springs in there, so they are pressed hard against the contact plate. Uh -huh. And then that ring will lock in. And the ring right locks there. it all together. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then we can test it. And then we'll test it. But okay. the pain in the ass with it is, we've the got two wheels. wheels. Oh, this is a prick. Because when you lift this up, it's going to stay. It might click out. Hang on a minute. Nope, we got it. Good. Those wheels. Yeah. Bastard. All right. Yeah. It's a bastard. But if it so, wasn't a bastard, it wouldn't be a SM. That's it. Okay. So we'll have to grease that. Detent Number one, as well. we'll get the we'll yeah, get, get some the grease. Yeah. All right, then All right. we'll uh, we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> so there's a rebate there for the one. So we got one against yeah. the center, and one on the out, and one yeah. on the outside. Yeah. Okay. Which is going to correspond with these. Right. Now okay. this is all spring loaded, so it's a pain right. in the ass. No, so if running. I drop that on there. All the while looking at where that friggin' spring is. Okay. Now, I'm committed. <laughs> All right. Okay. This is the bit that's difficult because what you've got to do is hold that and hope like crazy you don't let go of it. Okay. Then lower this block. It's easier on. to do it with two people. Hang on a sec. I don't know. Because I can help hold it because it, it's going to pop. It goes in one fucking way. Oh, shit. Here's all that there. Okay, yeah, pull that down really nice. There you go. Cool. That's in. Is that seated? Seems to be. Is there only the one? No, yeah, there's only one per half. There. I want to push no, it, it in. It's better. Yeah. Just make sure it's in. Cut to final install. Okay. Right. Now, do you want to test it with the before we put that well, together, just with a screwdriver? This won't rotate. So what has to happen is that bayonet fitting mm -hmm. has to bury below the black thing. The black thing. Oh, doesn't the back doesn't move. Okay, so we can't do it with the screwdriver. Okay. So yeah, that's but fine. Yeah, that's fine. when you put this in, but this is easy now. Okay. But what we've got to do is you've got to turn the lock because those two indexes there are different. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the wider one's going to go. So it's going to go like that. But then we've got to line yeah. up this bayonet fitting. Okay. That. So okay. I'm going to pop the ring on. Yep. Squeeze in. Okay. So that should work. Okay. Join us for a short edition of my hopefully not burning classic harness here. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, the fuel pump. Come on. You hear that? That's just the door. All right. Okay. So turn it off. Yeah, no, the fastened lights, fastened belts light is on. What's that great big one? Oh, start. That's, uh, yeah, no hydraulic fluid. So oh, okay. That just means no hydro pressure, the oil pressure lights on, and the hydraulic lights on, so that's right. good. <laughs> Holy, what an irritating fucking sound. Yeah. Oh. oh that if the e-brake's on, it cancels all that. All right. So okay, so it'll turn it off. I'll get the meter set up. Okay. Hey, Franker Frankers. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna push this out of the way here. Okay, and we're on. Yep. Ready? Yeah, go. On. Yep, yep. You got 12? Yep. Hey, well, we're. You got 11. Yeah, okay, well, that battery's been running that car all week. Yep, no, Plus, good. it's. We're good, we're good. Fantastic. So, it's interesting when you turn the key on, it yep. primes up the pump, and then when you turn the key to start, it runs the pump again. That's what the second hot wire is. Oh. Shit. I guess. Yeah. All right. Well, you know the switch works. And we know that we got fuel pressure and it's all good. It should run. So it will.
Uh, yes, let's uh, put together a harness here. Frankers, go get me some wiring. What? Nobody cares about the cars. They just want Frankers. What a good girl. Should hear a click and show 12 volts, right? Yeah. 12. Zero. Perfect. Right, so we know. Fantastic. Now, without any okay. shadow of doubt, how it works. So that's cool. That's awesome. It's just no. because they're not numbered. And right. So you got to so, follow the circuit. Right. So we. Do you want to label anything, or just leave the leave the lid off until the whole job is finished? Yeah, probably. We can label it. Yeah, we'll, well label of course it. they're not. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll just got to label it for my sake anyway. <laughs> and so we only need uh, about three feet of the big one to go right to the battery post, which we can tie in right here with all these other guys that are tied to the battery post, right? So I'm going to start taking yeah. that apart. Alright. Uh, <coughs> i to dig into this. There's a male. I want him. What do I want? What am I looking for? Well, Did I say a male one? Here. That. Okay. So, we're ready for the test fire. Mm -hmm. A little bit of cables, so basically interrupted the circuit direct from the uh, ignition switch to the starter solenoid, uh, interrupted and installed a relay, which is from one of the uh, SM parts cars. It's a previous year's model, so of course completely different relay, but it is all, uh, you know, it's all I did it all with the correct Citroen connectors and everything, so it should look like a pretty close to a factory install here. Guess none of it matters unless it runs, right, buddy? That's here. it. Yeah. Okay, that's good enough. It works. The system works. Beautiful. So let's charge the battery up, and then we'll try it. Yeah, like we'll we'll spin it a little more, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love it. Cool. That's exactly. It yeah. hasn't worked with the key since I've owned the car so whatever that means that all of that shit that we did fixed it right the switch is working a hundred percent and the relay is working so what we'll do everything is working except for somehow just this got this thing just mock tape so we'll stick some of the original fabric tape on yeah yeah so we can unhook the battery and uh, I'll charge the battery we've kept all this stuff yeah we'll save a bunch of that and we'll wrap the whole harness Okay. I'm going to charge the battery in the meantime. There's no reason not to. Because I'd like, we still want to start it today. There is no QC on these, right? The QC, no thanks. Yeah, the QC was the, the people who bought the cars. <laughs> that was it. Oh, that was the entire them. engineering, the, the like secondary engineering division was. Was the warranty process? Yeah, it was the warranty claims versus, you know, versus like, is it cheaper to pay warranty or to keep developing the car? Did you get the three carbs though? Oh yeah, we got them. Yeah, oh yeah, does it have lots of carburetors? Check. I think we'll have to adjust the cam the chains. I'm going to get reshard over. Oh, yeah, How's it yeah, going? Yeah, How's the, uh, my fingers well, hurt I just mean, watching. Doesn't yeah, yeah. the this old arthritis. Four bolts to hold down. Wait, good. How's the arthritis? Yeah, not too bad. Good. good, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. well, the best thing for arthritis, they say. What, fussy right. shit work? Tedious. Tedious shit work, yeah. Just tightly winding and just using part oh. of the muscle, locking it up. Yeah. Right. yeah. You do that for about an hour. Yeah, there's not okay. much to go. Hey, what's the fastest shitty way we can do this? Put it in a drill. I'm just Put thinking, how drill. can we just mount this in tape. a drill? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the trouble is we're trying to save the original tape. If the tape were on a Look roll, at the, I think like, that would really... Uh, I think we really do deserve a, a, a certain amount of recognition for the quality of the, of the electrical wrap preservation. <laughs> Well, just the well, sheer I'm putting it inside to maintain out. the originality. Oh, so we've got, so oh, the faded sneaky, parts on the inside, you see. Sneaky. Uh, That's it. Uh, it really? Stuff. Top it's secret fun. stuff here from the Anderson garage. Yeah. Just flip her inside out. And well, part of me really likes this one. repair, and part of me hates it. No, I, re I, I can't think of any part of it that I don't like. Oh, so the whole yeah. part of you likes it, then? Part of me, the other part of me really likes it. <laughs> <laughs> so that leaves us with a diminishing number of fatal electrical problems. You need me to sub in there? Or yeah, we should swap in. 
It's all right. I'm, I'm real I'm wicked at wrapping wires. That's oh, yeah? Yeah. One of my uh, no, specialties. Yeah. Yeah. One of your specialties. Says it on yeah, get him before he's doing two things. You're a truck guy, wire, right? Rapper. Hey? You're a truck guy, right? Oh, everything. Tractors, trucks. Fit as a motor, Jim loves oh. it. Yeah. That might be too close to the guts. But it might be, but... Oh, it does here. bolt straight down. Like yeah. It sits on here with a piece of rubber. I think it would be fine. Really. I don't think it's, I mean, it's not ideal because this is a different piece than it is on the one year earlier model. Mm. I thought you're a bit of a purist with these things, you're just throwing out the rule book. That's right, it's Fuck. freestyle, baby. <laughs> uh, Where's the can and look filters at it, and the right? Ooh, the chrome. Ooh, once you start putting the greasy chrome pieces what on. What goes on there? They're clear. Oh, okay. It comes out of here. Yeah. Big pla plastic thing, and it's got a thing, and then it goes to a big canister style air cleaner. Oh, and it has a big, okay. gross fucking paper hose that jams up in the front here. <laughs> oh, and after these, though, when you take them off, do you uh, do your chain adjustment? You just polish up those valve covers. Oh, real that's good. just oh, asking it. for it. Now, the more time you spend on that jack-off stuff, the more likely it's going to throw a rock. Yeah, jack-off right? stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks like exactly what it is, is a whole bunch of people Essentially, yeah. it's a prototype car that they just started making. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like if all of us went into a room for a year separately. Yeah, and yeah exactly. Like, yeah, and everything just said, has to match up to this yeah, point. And then they told these guys at the last minute, like the engine was designed, and then they said, oh, by the way, it's got to run 40 horsepower worth of accessories. So the primary timing chain is running the whole fucking show, the AC, the fucking hydraulic system. Yeah, it wouldn't have independent. Does it go? So is that just again. some jack shaft in the middle then or yeah. something? Ah, yeah, it's a, it's a jack shaft that runs yeah, all yeah. four cams and <laughs> all this bullshit. That's fucked. Right? Like, they got oh, du fuck. dual points and, uh, you know, and two coils, but instead of it being a redundant system, it means you got two independent systems. Well, it's a Either, redundant yeah. system? It's, yeah. Extra, what is it? Extra Instead of redundant, <laughs> not undundant. Maserati used to make engines with two plugs in each cylinder, so they had two ignition systems. So if yeah. something failed, you still had ignition. Whereas this is two ignition systems with all the complexity of two ignition systems, but None of the games twice are. the chance of one, because each one only runs one side of the engine. <laughs> twice the only, fail yeah. factor. So it's just twice as many pieces to fail for the exact same performance as a single system. So are you going to put four coil, like another two coils in there? Is that what you're saying? Like yeah, we should double up, up the, the coils. Yeah. You should uh, put like a Model this, T, just buzz boxes on each one. Right? Yeah. 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 I've never heard that before. Oh yeah. So that, but these are still hidden in here. Hmm? Shameful little clip-on splicer. Oh, I know. <laughs> Brutal, right? We were just talking about those. They're they're in my car. Oh, yeah. Go. Sucks. oh yeah, they're those just little blue fold over things. They're like bed bugs or fleas. Oh, oh, they're yeah. just they're gonna sick. Just you watch. Yeah. We'll come back tomorrow. Hey yeah. Scott, yeah. let me more. put the stereo in. Fuck. Yeah, clunk, chunk, clunk. and it's always anti theft or uh, remote starters, yeah. right? No, Enough. not having it. But these cars, I remember the first time they opened the hood of one, and uh, it was at Pioneer when Richard owned it still. And there was three of them out front. One was for sale, and it was brown, and it was rusty. And uh, so when they opened the hood, and I was just looking at it, I'm like, nope. Well, oh, it's just, oh, no. Did you, uh, Frankers? <laughs> Fuck. We're trying to salvage the tape, Frankers. It tastes so good. <laughs> oh, peace out. Right, don't be a menace. Hey. <laughs> You're silly. Okay, it's all good. Okay. We okay. were pretty close then. Yeah, I've just got to wrap it there. Oh yeah, take your time. Mm -hmm. Thread it around so it look looks at, like it's hey, a Oh, it's gonna look so nice. It took exactly one beer for you to start wrapping and finish wrapping that. That's good time. That's, That's good, good time. time. We usually yeah. take about a <laughs> beer and a half. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got to wrap them and come and done but you can just wrap it if you want to or whatever. Cut that bit off. Looks. Oh, it's gonna be time for a dart for you. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah buddy. Good. That's. Look at that. Nice save. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. 
to uh, add a wire to it, or what was the, the whole purpose of this exercise? The whole purpose was to install a relay in so that we would stop burning out the ignition switch in the column. See this work? Alright. Okay, is this going in or what? Yeah, geez, it's fucking dark right Holy now, shit. guys. Okay, watch out. Okay, you got any? Oh, fuel pumpage, that's good. Well, that was hard. Hey. Well, it's got electric fuel pump, that makes it easy, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, there's no fighting or pumping or anything. Yeah, yeah. That's it, we're done. Pretend like we didn't get that first one. Yeah. <laughs> ah, fuck, is it gonna go? Oh. Ran when parked. <laughs> right? So, how did it look? Great. Good. Yeah. No sketchy bullshit, no oil spraying anywhere? No, nothing mm. really? overly questionable. Yeah. That started ridiculously easily. You gotta put coolant in and drive it. How long ago, when was the last time you started? It must be over a year. Oh, a couple at least, yeah. Yeah. And with the old gas and everything? No, it's good. I, run, I just wanted to run it long enough to get the old gas out of the carbs and new gas into them. Good enough. That's all I care. Or new old gas from the tank. New older gas from the less yeah, old yeah. gas. Well, for the same fresher, age gas. fresher yeah. old gas. <laughs> I don't know. Or whatever that is so here. great. Mm. No, it doesn't even smell that bad. It smells good. That was a beautiful like, job. Beautiful yeah. job. I'm so uh, happy at how well that, that works. Well. Yeah. Oh, it's just I've had the car for so long, and now yeah. you can actually get in and start it and move it. Like, yeah. That's nice to start with stuff with the key. That's, that's Yeah. Cool. Oh, well, because you go, bzz, 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 and then it would go, bzz, 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 and you try and run inside and get to the choke. Yeah. And if you don't get to it right away, you don't, you do it. So Let's yeah, that came that. right to life. That's choke. That's good. Yeah, it's a manual choke. Oh, nice. It's good that it's got electric fuel pump, too. Yeah, it primed itself right up. So yeah. before it goes on the road, these are all getting replaced, replaced, like plugs and wires, simple shit. But this is what, that was it. It's fun to actually fix problems. That's, right? Oh, any tamper? Zero evidence that that's ever been anything except exactly the way it is. Okay. okay. That looks, good. that looks just like nothing ever happened. Yeah. Well, your and, uh, is, yeah. Right? We even saved the original tape, which, yeah, just looks great. What a great job. I thought, uh, since uh, winter's upon me again, and I have yet to put any kind of a decent reliable car together that's not a hundred years old and the Model T doesn't have a heater my plan B has to be to fix this silly Volvo uh, so I thought today I would pull these doors off of the parts car here and see what's involved in getting this thing ready to repair uh, so we got to pull both this side doors off And this one I need the hinges. Looks like we have to pull the interior out to get at the hinges. Uh, which appear to be... Look at all this bullshit here. Huh. What a strange thing. Frankers, what do you think? Do you like this one? Frankers cares not. So... That's uh, that's pretty easy. Let's see if we can get these doors off. And I'd like to hang them on the other car before we even pull the pull the post, so that we know exactly when we're done. When I used to do collision full time, uh, a job like that would come in. And, I mean, it would be gone by the 
end of the same week that it got here. There's no, it's not a particularly hard hit. It's just, I've had just zero time for it. And uh, the prospect of having this very sketchy Dodge as my only transportation for eight months of the year is not, uh, is not what I want. So anything, anything's gotta be better. Than, uh, than just having only the Dodge. Wonder what it would take. <laughs> no, just kidding. No Frankers, we're not driving it. Well, I got very lucky that somebody who works on modern cars stopped by. Oh, here comes the menace. What are you doing? You're sure busy today, little Frankers. <laughs> Dog's having too much fun. Okay, so we have to get this B post trim off. Did that work? Yeah. Can I have the thing and I'll take this off? The rig, thank you. We have to pull all this just to get the hinges. Cars are reasonably well put together for modern cars. Seems like a sensible machine. So many. Modern cars are just clips and garbage, so it's nice. Okay, well, we'll join this later here. What's going on, Frank Frank? Citroen, day, day one, level one tidy. Oh, There's a lot of yeah, the right tidying thing. to do here, eh? Hey? Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is just all the kind of the, the leftover, the other side of all of that stuff, I think. All that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all kind of glued down. Yeah. If there's any rust and failure like this, we have to fix this. Mm -hmm. Both sides. So that's... Uh, Again, the car is amazingly well preserved, but there's just some areas on these cars that are just naturally very rust prone. I can see why now. As soon as you actually look at it, there's yeah. just seam after seam after seam. There's after just seam. so many welded seams. They're built out of so many tiny stamped pieces. And yeah, just the number water, of pieces in the front water, bumper. Just, there's nothing protecting anything. And everything is tiny, tiny, fine thread hardware. Mm -hmm. It's all incredibly nice when it's good. When it's brand new. When it's bad, it's... Well... Uh, it's a poor experience. And this one is not very bad, actually. <laughs> this one is really good, that's the thing. Most of these, there's no floor at all. Like, this is really amazingly good. But it all has to be cleaned and painted. Mm -hmm. What a nice puppy. Dean, we're back at the Citroen yeah. update. This car is so awesome. Like, yeah. this we were just talking about... Uh, I just Dean, yeah. Dean, you should buy another LTD. Well, there may be one coming, actually, guys. No, shocker. Shock. <laughs> what? I've seen way nicer cars than LDDs. And I've seen really nice. I've garage. seen nicer cars in Maple Leaf than yeah. yeah. Than than in your driveway. <laughs> I have to say yes right now. Yeah. So, oh, ripping on Dean. I well, oh, man. LLT, remember I drove that thing in the and it's just so rotten. Every like everywhere, like floors, pans, trunk, pans, like seams. Like, it's garbage, yeah. Like, like, no. <laughs> what can you do? Like, it's not, you're not going to spend any money on the thing. You don't and spend any money on anything. Oh, no, God, no. So I just, just more that like, that cost me like zero dollars. Yeah, and then you're disappointed that it's rusty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh. Dean just lives his life at $300. $300 at a one, time. One bumperless one. LDD at a time. Yeah. How many cars you got right now? 35, 36 cars. Here. Yeah. Did you sell your silver special? No, but I, it's in there. I mean, yeah, well, I know. <laughs> it's a Crusader. Yeah, that's a rare one. 
But who cares, right? Rare, but who cares, eh? It's yeah. Rare, but nobody cares. Well, it's maybe. like one hand clapping, right? You know what? <laughs> it's got a six. It's got a locked up six. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very desirable. Actually. Well, it ticks every box, but Dean. Crank on it and it's like, mm, cars Dean's going to lift up the back of the car. Well, That's help you. Really so without I don't want to blow Dean up. Mm -hmm. oh, we don't, 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 don't want to break Dean. Yeah, we only have one Dean. One we need him for future Dean endeavors. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you guys want to do a record? We'll do a record. Yeah, we'll do a record. We'll do a record, we'll do a record, record for sure. We'll, I'll take, we'll take a Saturday. This Saturday's bad. This weekend's bad. But the one after, but the weather's getting cold now, guys. So, we got to figure that out too. Damn it. Okay, winter's coming. fucking global warm. It's That's more Canadian though. They going out. How dare you? You got to go with the bigger pool in the snow. Your tools. Right, my shitty, my shitty toolkit that doesn't have all the snaps are broken and like I'm missing like Allen key. You guys have any idea what we're actually doing? Uh, well, I think we want to lift the car. Well, we're lifting the car up. Oh, okay. Anytime. Okay. <laughs> Whatever, you know. Okay, yeah. well, you guys ready? Fucking two things already. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me just pause my <laughs> that. Now, be very careful here. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're also, just watch that this all looks good. The car is just pivoting on the on these, hey? So no, so no fucking we're really not, like don't get cute because nice, we don't want to nice pull these, no, that's nice very stable. Yeah. The so we're just rotating the car Steve and then we're putting these under at the back. Yes, okay. they're going to tell that's us how We have to then, go ahead and admit. Yeah, not that now, bad. is there any no, way, no, the car shouldn't be no, able to fuck off. Should I dial 9-1? Alright, slow, 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 let's go. Oh, you guys. Back down slowly. Hold on, what? Right. Down, down. We're down on my side. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Good. That's really good. That okay. Now, we have to figure out. She pitched me. How to take us through this. This well, went well. Yeah, we actually got this thing up in the air, ready for you to work on and do all the welding and fix whatever needs to be fixed. There's a few oh, things. I don't know. You probably know more than I do, but anyways, these French cars are awesome. This panel will beat you said or something. Stephen was saying. Yeah, some of this know. has to be replaced. This looks either. pretty. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Looks yeah. pretty sketchy. Whatever. We've got a nice one. Really good. What yeah, you see, this is kind of. It's not very. That's not very that's, good. And that right. side there got a little pushed in. He said. Yeah, some damage. Uh, this car is so wild. You just never see you. You're under the tree, and there you Hang go. On. Line up on line the legs up. there. Got the top one, bottom one. Okay, go. You go. Okay. All right, see what's the guy on. Oh, weird. Okay. Yeah, weird. This is just temporary. Okay, now backwards. Justin's gonna come in, right? Oh no, it's all in. What in the hell is going on? Oh, there you go. Just drop it in there. Yeah. They gotta come off again in a minute. That's good enough. Just so they don't fall off. Hey Dean. Remember to channel People the break. French assembly line worker. We should get it a little more level. There. Okay, now come ahead. Are you on the pegs there? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Well, Should just slide back. Yeah, you're good. It's fine. Right there. It's good. For now, right? Don't pull on too hard. Right? Yeah, true. Let's, uh, it's one let me just put this in. Bambi here. Bambi it in there. <laughs> Line them up really nice and pry on the front. Really hard and tap them into place as you go. Do you want to do that now? Or? No, this is just temporarily throwing them on just so we don't step on them. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be the safest the back place. One. I understand. Throw them on the guard so we don't step on them. Just being parked up, eh, Frankie? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a little gappy over here. That's yeah. okay, man. You got to saw, hey, this gap is uh, big, but it's even. This is kind of what we've mocked the car up in order to do, which is avoid things like this uh, not showing up till after it's faded. So I'm going to go around anywhere we see this kind of misalignment. You just have to tweak all these panels. A lot of this has been replaced. 
The rest of it is pretty good for just being first throw together. It's not bad. Well, it's not terrible, hey Dean? That's fine, man. You'll have it all things in no time. I'll give you a dead one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't know, actually, no, I'm not just I'll have to drive it to Montreal next summer. No plates, no Reggie's, no nothing, no license. Get away with it. License is expensive. Yeah, just fucking grinning his way out of it all, eh? Like when I got pulled over with a gun. <laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't very good. Uh, that's I didn't funny. Go over very well, man. But he was cool, boy, though. <laughs> 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 yeah, we want to do a real showdown where we're like, <laughs> yeah, well, come on, it's gonna be great. So next is the front wall. Right, that'll be. And that'll be fun. Yeah. So I might do that uh, very soon. This is where you gas up your car. Yeah. So uh, hope you guys will bear with us uh, for a week or two while we put this together. Because Dean is, you know, he's only available occasionally. <laughs> That's right. It costs you money now to have me on film. That's right. You know, <laughs> Dean's agents are relentless, right? say. That's right. <laughs> but also, I'll come back. You know, now that I'm back for, like, I mean, I'm back in Edmonton for a bit. I was in Calgary for a while. I'm going to, I mean, I can come over and help you a bit. Yeah. It could be for the snow because I think it's going to get. We got to get it going quick. Yeah. Like tomorrow. For old cars, this is wonderful. That's the idea. Car parking, buddy. Cars. Parking some cars. Alrighty. First parking some Frankers. Yeah, Frankers. Mini, come here, please. <laughs> so everything very quickly and predictably going off the rails. <sighs> Let's have a quick yeah, glam boy, review. Huh? Did you get, oh, you got lit. The light. Don't stare into the light. I didn't, I read Don't look, there, you've heard the button. stories. Uh, yeah. So, because the engine is seized, we can't really access the torque converter bolts that hold the torque converter, presumably, to the flex plate, unless this is m more different or, than I originally e expected. Nevertheless, uh, the whole thing is a big shitty mess, so we're just going to pull it all out and kind of see where we're at. And try and whistle something together, because... The engine we have is not from a push-button car. I don't know if it's gonna make any difference, but this is just, uh, this would be nicer if we were just not lying on our backs to do it. Uh, yeah, so next is, this is the motor mount. Oh, this is so nice under here. It's just like, mm. How's this doing? Poly fucking swap, poly dust in. Okay, what do you think? Better or worse? Certainly better. You know what I'm gonna do? Just drop it the whole way, I think, now. Still dripping into the pan, so that's good. 
I'm not making a mess. Oh, you know what? We're getting at the edge of our pan, though. Move this, and then we'll put it. There's a thumbnail, eh? Yeah, that's what I was hoping. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, it's the uh, post-50 post-mortem update here. It all went really well. Had a good time. Let's just see what we're up to this week. Almost time to put all the cars away. But we have been working on the place where they can go. So this is uh, another day's work on this short one guy here but uh, yeah anyhow it's starting to uh, starting to come together lots of lots of miter cuts and and uh, you know seemingly random angles and whatever but let's see if we can get out here and have a look at it yeah you can see kind of starting to come together um, going to be a while I'll try and put some more time in on tomorrow and uh yeah anyway that's the idea uh, should be a lot of fun I see that richard I see that richard has dropped off a very nice uh, ds bumper so we might uh, recondition this one instead of the one that came with the car which had been pretty badly bent and repaired at least once already. This one's pretty clean and original. Uh, a fun game might be trying to figure out which one of these cars get to go inside the new shop. I think that one, uh, that guy should go inside. These guys are all pretty much safe. Um, Fraser will get put away because it's plated. And I might even move this Buick inside. It's a pretty nice clean car. It would be uh, it would not hurt my feelings if that uh, was kept inside. Maybe the 58 Dodge, just because the body's pretty decent. This stuff's all damage is done, really. And, uh, yeah, same here. I mean, this is tempting to keep this inside, but really the damage is pretty much done there. It's not getting any worse now that it sheds water, so there's no real reason to get too worried about whether it sits outside. Yeah, so uh, that's kind of how it's going. What is it today? November or something? First of November, so pretty uh, pretty decent day, actually. This is a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit. <laughs> 